kasih saudara pengurusi majelis yang mahu hormat Tun Dr Mahathir bin Muhammad, Honourable Prime Minister, yang yang mahu bahagia Tun Dr Siti Hasma bin Haji Muhammad Ali, yang mahu hormat Datuk Sri Utama Haji Mukris Tun Mahathir, Menteri Besar of Kedah. Dan yang amat berbahagia Datin Sri Utama Nozita binti Zakaria Yang berhormat Cabinet Ministers Yang amat berhormat Menteri Besar Menteri Besar dan Ketua-Ketua Menteri Yang berhormat Datuk Edin Shazlin Sin Deputy Minister of Communications and Multimedia Malaysia Yang berusaha Encik Ali Shal Ishak Chairman Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission Distinguished Guests Members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Good evening and salam harapan to all of you. First and foremost, let me extend to all of you a very warm welcome to the 5G Malaysia demonstration projects of 5GDP. It is indeed a privilege that we have here with us tonight our guest of honor, the Honourable Prime Minister of Malaysia, Yang Mahat Berhormat, Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. I would like to record my deepest appreciation to Tun Dr. Mahathir for gracing us with your presence at this groundbreaking event here tonight. My gratitude also goes out to all Cabinet Ministers, Chief Ministers, Deputy Ministers, Senior Government Officials, Distinguished Business Leaders, as well as industry experts from here and abroad for your attendance and taking time to be a part of this important milestone as Malaysia moves a step closer towards implementing 5G in the near future. Ladies and gentlemen, much has been written and said about this dawn of the 5G area, an era that will be dominated by big data, artificial intelligence, the Internet of Things and smart automation. It is expected that 24 Asia-Pacific markets will launch 5G technology by 2025 and the rollout of 5G will contribute almost 900 billion US dollars to the region's economy over the next 15 years. 5G technology will indeed spur innovations and open up new opportunities in various sectors which include agriculture, education, government administration, healthcare, public safety, and of course, transportation. 5G is a potential game changer in the way we all live and work. As we endeavor to build a 5G ecosystem by developing 5G use cases with a view to stimulating and expediting the demand and thereafter implementation of 5G here in Malaysia, there is an urgent need to elevate the understanding on 5G that goes beyond the mere confines of broadband services and has the ability to change the face of many industries. Starting from October 2018, when we announced Putrajaya and Cyberjaya as 5G test beds or technical trials, we have made great strides in understanding 5G, particularly what it can do and how we can apply this technology to our benefit. Much has happened over the past few months, and today we have 72 use cases currently being demonstrated across 56 5G life sites in six states in Malaysia. In Langkawi alone, there are 35 use cases in 25 live sites. The use cases cover nine different verticals, namely agriculture, digital healthcare, education, entertainment and media, manufacturing and processing, oil and gas, smart city projects, smart transportation projects, and tourism. Ladies and gentlemen, Langkawi was chosen as the location for this pioneer phase of 5G demonstration projects due to its ideal demographic as a controlled environment. Langkawi has a variety of different industries covering verticals such as tourism, smart city initiatives, digital healthcare and agriculture initiatives, making it therefore ideal as hosts to a wide spectrum of use cases. Use cases such as smart agri agriculture and urban precision farming are relevant for Langkawi and the country, 
as it supports our, our country's aspiration in maximizing output and increasing the country's food supply stock. Digital healthcare use cases currently on trial in Langkawi include real-time medical data transfer and connected ambulance and remote consultation at the Sultana Maliha Hospital. The use case for the smart city vertical, meanwhile, centers on digital boundary controls to better monitor the safety and security aspect of the ports. I envision Langkawi transforming into a digital island where technology transforms the way the residents and people of this island work, live, and how the island will evolve. This transformation into a sustainable, smart, and secure island will benefit not only the local community here, but also the local authorities in planning future development projects here and around. I personally like to thank our project partners, in particular the Kadar State Government and the local authorities for their commitment in implementing 5G demonstration projects here and striving to make them a success. What we now see here in Langkawi, ladies and gentlemen, is a giant leap forward in 5G technology development where we here in Malaysia showcase real-time use cases which are already up and running and we work towards further research and development in these areas. These use cases will continue for three months hereafter with many of these demonstrations opened up to the public for them to see for themselves what the future, the future has in store for the world. I must extend my gratitude too to all the other state governments and local authorities for their openness and cooperation to collaborate with the federal government as we stand together to realize Malaysia's ambitions and potential in line with our shared preparative vision of 2030. Ladies and gentlemen, this is indeed an exciting time for our country and the region. Let 5G be another significant milestone to a greater Malaysia. Let us together, ladies and gentlemen, continue to progress humanity by working hand in hand to make commercial 5G a reality here in Malaysia this year. With that, I thank you very much for being here and being present this evening. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that we now invite young Ahmad Bohormat to Dr. Mahathir bin Mohammed, the Honourable Prime Minister, to deliver the main address for the evening. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Dan salam sejahtera. Ya Amat Bohormat, Dr. Sri Utama Haji Mukhris Tun Mahathir, Menteri Besar Kedah Darul Aman. Yang berhormat Tuan Gobin Singh Dio, Minister of Communications and Multimedia, Cabinet Ministers and Deputy Ministers, Menteri Besar and Chief Ministers, Yang Berusaha Tuan Al Ishal Al Ishal Al Ishal Ishal Chairman of the Malaysian Communication and Multimedia Commission, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to launch the 5G Malaysia demonstration projects. It is indeed an honor to be here today. Before I proceed, let me first congratulate the Ministry of Communications and Multimedia and the Malaysian Communications and Multimedia Commission, MCMC, for their commendable efforts in laying the blocks, the building block necessary building blocks for the implementation of 5G in this country. It is an important component for this nation, as 5G has the power to promote an array of new services, improve our manufacturing efficiency, as well as spur innovation nationwide. Since I launched the 5G Malaysia Showcase in April 2019, preparations to deploy 5G 
have been progressing well, and I'm glad to state that Malaysia is on track to commercially roll out 5G in the third quarter of 2020. This marks a significant beginning in our nation's history towards strengthening our economy to achieve sustainable growth and share the prosperity we gain with our people and ensure that we achieve our target of providing every single citizen in this nation a decent standard of living by 2030. Ladies and gentlemen, a closer look at the, post, uh, the past two decades will also reveal that many of the revolutionary changes were driven by technology. From the rise of smartphones in 2007 that changed the way we live to the growth of, of shale oil in 2014 that triggered one of the largest oil price shocks in history to the mighty rise of numerous brands like Google, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Netflix, and Huawei, the common denominator was technology. Technology will continue to change the way we do things, and we risk being left behind if we do not change as well. On the other hand, they offer new exciting challenges as well as immeasurable opportunities if we are capable of embracing them. Ladies and gentlemen, a new decade is upon us. We meet at a time when countries like China, the United States and South Korea are already rolling out 5G that will not only provide better experiences for existing applications, but also accelerate use case, cases such as autonomous cars and remote surgeries that were not possible with previous generations of mobile networks. Economically, 5G can serve as the infrastructure for innovative growth. The convergence of 5G and different industrial sectors such as agriculture, education, healthcare, manufacturing, smart transportation and tourism present new opportunities for industries, society and individuals to advance their digital ambitions and deliver new and better services. Ladies and gentlemen, manufacturing remains as one of the vital sectors for both developing and developed nations. In developing countries, manufacturing continues to be the avenue for subsistence agriculture to rising incomes and living standards. In the developed world, it remains as a vital source of innovation and competitiveness with enormous contributions to R&D, exports and productivity growth. Similarly, for Malaysia, the manufacturing sector has played a key role in turning the country into a major player in the global value chain. For the past five years, the manufacturing industry has contributed 22% to the GDP and it remains in integral to the nation's economy. Therefore, as the fourth industrial revolution engulfs us, the question we must ask ourselves is, are we ready for it? How do we leverage on this transformative transformative technology to enhance productivity and growth. Ladies and gentlemen, in this fast-paced and high-octane world, we need to be agile as change is a daily constant. If we remain stagnant, we will not be able to complete, compete in the global economy. 
we also need to upskill the workforce with the skills of the future and continue to collaborate in the new spirit of cooperation. The willingness of organizations to open doors to others and share best practices will expedite the adoption of the fourth industrial revolution and unlock the benefit that manufacturers can create. This spirit of collaboration also cuts down beyond the confines of private sectors. During my first stint as the Prime Minister, I introduced the concept of Malaysia Incorporated, which integrated the private and public sectors into one common object, objective of de developing Malaysia. Thus, I firmly believe the concept still applies to this day, and it is more important than ever before for the sectors to work together to achieve the country's big and ambitious goal. Because of such collaboration, I am pleased to see that through the 5G demonstration projects, we have identified 100 use cases, of which today we have 72 5G use cases in 56 live 5G sites across six states that include Keda, Wilayah Persekutuan Kuala Lumpur, Pera, Selangor, Terengganu, and Penang. Ladies and gentlemen, technology is here to stay and will remain to be the epicenter of our lives. According to a forecast from Accenture, the industrial internet of things has the potential to add as as much as 14.2 trillion US dollars to the global economy and Gartner forecast and Gartner forecast the number of connected things that will be in use worldwide this year will reach 20.4 billion units data by Euro Monitor International reveals that by 2023, the total sales of internet retailing in Malaysia will surge to ringgit 30.03 billion, of which 18 billion ringgit will be purchases made through smartphones. This is about three times more than 2019 projected internet sales of 11.41 billion ringgit. Businesses must, however, ensure that technology is able to complement the workforce to become more effective, knowledgeable, and productive. Technology that displaces humans run contrary to the aspiration of the country as outlined in the government's Shared Prosperity Vision 2030. On this aspect, education is key in ensuring that technology is able to benefit the society. Education and the understanding of technology among the students as well as those who are in the workforce cannot wait. It has to be emphasized and promoted now. Indeed, 5G can guarantee that quality education is spread far and wide, connecting the unconnected in the rural areas. Teaching can move beyond the confines of the classroom, while students can learn and connect, interact in different ways than we do today. Now it has become more crucial than ever before to develop essential skills among young Malaysians, which requires not only data-driven skills, but also mental agility, particularly when disruption has become the norm in our everyday lives. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia stands on the edge. We have abundance of resources and prospects. Our country is poised to embark on a new era of growth. While this is within our grasp, we are at the tipping point when we can either rise or falter. Through the interconnectedness of the economy, it does not mean does not make us immune to global economic headwinds. It is what we continue to strive individually and collectively every day to outperform and push boundaries that will allow us to stay resilient and stride forward confidently. On that note, it is with great pleasure to, for me to launch the 5G Malaysia demonstration projects. I thank you. Thank you very much, Alma Bahorma, for launching the 5G Malaysia demonstration projects. We'll have the chairman of TM, Tuan Haji Rosliman, to hand over the 5G phone to Yang Ahmad Berhormat to let the show begin! Before. 